Good morning, fellow parishioners. We celebrate today the great feast of the ascension of our Lord Jesus into heaven. We will uh, sing number 399 in the Catholic Books of Worship. That is entitled, Hail the Day that Sees Him Rise, number 399, first three verses. Hail the day that sees him rise, alleluia. To his throne above the skies, alleluia. Christ the Lamb for sinners given, alleluia. Enters now the highest heaven, Alleluia. Therefore him high triumph waits, Alleluia. Lift your heads, eternal gates, Alleluia. Christ has conquered death and sin. Alleluia. Take the King of glory in. Alleluia. Highest heaven its Lord receives. Alleluia. Yet he loves the earth he leaves. Alleluia. Though returning to his throne. Alleluia. Still he calls the world his own. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, 
Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. Let us pray. Gladden us with holy joys, almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving. For the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning, until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. After his suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom of Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. 
While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm is Alleluia. Alleluia. Clap your hands, all you peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy. For the Lord, the Most High, is awesome, a great king over all the earth. Hallelujah. God has gone up with a shout. The Lord with the sound of a trumpet. Sing praises to God. Sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. Hallelujah. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing praises with a psalm. God is King over the nations. God sits on his holy throne. Hallelujah. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you. What are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints? And what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe according to the working of his great power? God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. 
I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, O Lord Lord, Jesus Jesus Christ. Christ. In her will, my dear mother left me a very generous legacy in money, which was meant to be a nest egg for my retirement years. I've left the money with the same financial planners that she used. They send a monthly report of how the investments are doing. And you might imagine the last few months have been nothing but bad news. As I do whenever bad news comes my way, I take this matter to Jesus in prayer. Lord, I said, thank goodness I'm a celibate and don't have children to worry about. But Lord, before all this is over, who knows how much I'm going to have left, how much I'm going to lose. It really looks that I'm meant to die a poor man after all. Jesus replied by giving me a word from my favorite author, G.K. Chesterton. Chesterton said, about things of this world, I am a complete agnostic. About things of this world, I am a total agnostic. I have only certainty about the things of heaven. Of course, Chesterton is doing here what he did so often and did so well. By turning a cliche upside down, he gave it a wholly fresh perspective and a wholly fresh truth. Agnostics say, don't they, no one can have sure knowledge of the invisible things. We can only have certainty regarding the things we can see and touch, the things of this world. Chesterton is saying that all those things that we claim to be sure, because we can measure them and predict their effects, all these things are not sure at all. We take for granted that our highly civilized world is a sure thing, that our man-made world is on a rock-solid foundation. We've grown accustomed to plan for 20 and 30 years into the future. Now think of how a microscopic virus has changed all that. Now it's one day at a time. No, our world is no longer a sure bet. Where then is a sure bet to be found? Chesterton gave the answer years ago. I only have certainty about the things of heaven. That happens to be the precise message of the feast that we celebrate at this Sunday Mass, the feast of the Lord's ascension into heaven. We celebrate that based on the eyewitness testimony of the apostles, who are the absolutely trustworthy guardians of our faith. Based on their testimony, our Lord Jesus, on the 40th day after his resurrection, was taken up to heaven to take his place at the right hand of God the Father in glory. From there, Jesus exercises a gentle kingship that is meant to embrace all peoples and all ages of human history. Because he is above all the hurly-burly of human politics and all the murky guesswork of human science, Jesus gives us a clarity and a certainty that's found nowhere else. This is expressed 
in the letter to the Hebrews in the New Testament, chapter 6, where the sacred author compares the ascension of Jesus to heaven, to the ascension of Jesus to heaven to an anchor that holds the believer steadfast in the midst of all the troubles and turmoils of life in our world. So this is from Hebrews chapter 6. We have this hope, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters the inner shrine behind the curtain, that is, heaven, where Jesus, a forerunner on our behalf, has already entered, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. So you see Jesus ascending into heaven. It's like he's going and he's anchored his kingship there in heaven. A fine contemporary Christian songwriter, Ray Boltz, has captured this quite movingly in his song, The Anchor Holds. I would like to play the first two standards of this song now.
Though Mr. Boltz wrote this song years before the pandemic, yet see how it speaks to the very heart of our present suffering. I hope as well that you share its sense that some unseen yet strong and caring agency is holding you and your loved ones up. That's our anchor. And the name of that anchor is Jesus. Because Jesus, our heavenly King, reigns from a throne of absolute and universal authority, no earthly storm can disturb his place, the place he has in our lives. Submitting in faith to his authority, our hearts draw from him the unshakable firmness of his kingship, bringing the sense of security that we so badly need in this time. Look at me and my shrinking bank account. Who needs to be rich when I have all the security I need in Jesus? Let's hear the remainder of Ray Boltz's song. Yes, indeed, the anchor holds, and the name of that anchor is Jesus. Let us proudly profess the faith and the hope that our baptism into the Lord gives us as it is formulated in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray through Jesus, who reigns at your right hand in heaven. Hear our prayers. The response to the petitions is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, that all members be patient and prudent as services gradually resume in the weeks and months ahead. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we begin a year-long celebration of Pope Francis's encyclical Laudato Si, we pray that Catholics everywhere serve as lights for building a better and more sustainable world. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for those suffering from an addiction of any kind, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for a good and peaceful death for Dr. Robert Wally, a Catholic Civil Rights League Exner Award recipient and founder of Mater Care International. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in a special way for all those who have passed away from COVID-19. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our Let us conclude our prayers by, par uh, by praying the parish prayer. Come, Holy Spirit, come by the means of the powerful intercession of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, your well-beloved spouse, upon the parishioners of Immaculate Heart of Mary Parish. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, for he humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash me, O Lord, from my 
iniquities. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, in honor to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended today to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exult in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who were nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Therese, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Douglas our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us bless one another with a sign of Christ's peace. Peace of Christ be with you, Daniel. Peace of Christ with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death brought life to the world, free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, dear Lord. Never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ give us safe for eternal life. Dear parishioners, we now make our act of spiritual communion on behalf of all of those who cannot be here with us at this time. O oh Jesus, I turn towards the holy tabernacle where you live hidden for love of me. I love you, O oh my God. 
I can't receive you in Holy Communion. Come, nevertheless, and visit me with your grace. Come spiritually into my heart. Purify it, sanctify it, render it like unto your own. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. The closing hymn is the same as the opening. It's number 399. Let us sing uh, the verses four and five of Hail the Day That Sees Him Rise, number 399, verses four and five. Still for us he intercedes, alleluia. His prevailing death he pleads, alleluia. Near himself prepares our place. Alleluia. Christ, the first fruits of our race. Alleluia. There we shall with Christ remain. Alleluia. Partners of his endless reign, Alleluia. There his face unclouded see, Alleluia. Live with Christ eternally, Alleluia.